Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to download and set up the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test software. I recently used this software to compare speeds on my external drive versus my new internal drives. And this ended up solving a problem for me on DaVinci Resolve where I was getting very slow playback. Before we jump into the video, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, guys, so we're going to start on this website. We will leave a link to this in the description. This is the Blackmagic forum page where you can find various softwares. So what we're looking for here is we want the desktop video software package. We're going to download this for Windows x86, and we're just going to type in some basic information here. And it's going to start downloading a zip file, so we'll see you guys once that's done. While that's loading, I wanted to go ahead and pull up my disk management. So I use a combination of external and internal. As you can see, we have various media and peripherals plugged in right now. But most notably, this April 2024 drive, that's an external SSD. And we have that plugged in via the USB port on the PC tower. I also use this drive for editing. However, this is an NVMe SSD, and this is installed inside of the PC case. And so basically, I want to know what the speed differences are between these two. And maybe I'll also check my C drive, which is another M.2 SSD. All right, with that, let's go ahead and get back to our downloads. I'm going to right click on the zip file and select extract all. I'll press extract. That new folder is automatically gonna pop up and we're just gonna double click the MSI, which is the Windows installer file. We'll click our way through this and accept the terms along the way and we'll click install. I'll fast forward this until it's done. All right, and it looks like it's all the way done, so I'll click finish. Here we're getting prompted to restart the computer, so I'm first gonna stop the screen recording so that I don't lose that data, and then I will go ahead and restart the computer. So on this, I'm gonna select no, but you could just select yes if you're ready to. So I'm gonna stop the screen recording, restart the computer, and I'll see you guys once I'm back. All right, guys, so I am back on my computer after a successful restart. Let's go ahead and open up our new software. So. If I hit the start menu here, I'm going to type in black magic. As we can see, the first thing that comes up is disk speed test. You may see it somewhere down here as again, we've got several tools under the desktop video suite. So we're just going to simply double click to open the disk speed test. And this is fairly simple to use. We simply have a start button and a settings button. So we'll start in the settings button. We can select our level of stress and we can also select our target drive. So I'll start with that. And let's go ahead and select that external drive first. So this is a Samsung T7 external drive, and this is plugged in via USB externally. I'm gonna select this, and it's telling us the target disk is almost full. So we actually do need enough space for this. So let me go ahead and try a different drive. Okay, I just plugged in the exact same drive, the exact same type of drive that is just a different hard drive with more space. So this one's called July, 2024. I'm gonna select target drive and we'll select this drive here and I'll select folder. At this point, I'm gonna hit start speed test and see what we got. So I just let it run a few times. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the speed. So underneath the read and the write sections, we can tell exactly what speed we have. We have 430 megabytes per second here or 422 megabytes per second on the read speed. Now what's very helpful about this tool in particular is it's going to tell us with various different codecs and resolutions inside of our editing software, what could potentially work on this drive or what might be problematic. So so we can refer to various charts here based on the predicted speed that we're going to have with different footage. With that, let's go ahead and test the internal drive and see what kind of differences we get. I'm going to select the editing drive. This is a Western Digital NVMe SSD. It's very fast. So I'll go ahead and select folder and let's start the test. Now, as we can see, this is more than 10 times faster than the external SSD, which is quite a significant jump. And those limitations in some of this 8K footage and the 4320p at 60 fps that was previously unavailable on the other drive i can basically handle any footage on this drive and so this is a great way to know okay how fast is my hard drive or potentially even diagnosing a problem so we would definitely recommend using the software to your advantage there's also a tool in here to save the screenshot for future reference so we could click that and just simply save that to our downloads if we want all right guys so that's going to do it for today's video if you have any questions about using this software to test your hard drive speed or to figure out whether you can edit certain footage Drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put those links down below. We strongly encourage any specific video topic ideas you may have. And lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.